Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of physics, we shall discuss the physical quantities. Okay, so what do you mean by physical quantities? What are those physical quantities? What are the various units? Whether they have magnitude, whether they have direction. So all these things we shall discuss in this topics. Are you ready? Yes. So we shall start now. So physical quantities. So first, what do you mean by physical quantities? So physical, actually physics involves movement of bodies in space. I've already told you physics is nothing but it is a scientific study of matter and its motion in space and time. So it involves movement of bodies in space and we need to have these quantities. They have to be described in various units, right? So the quantities may be either vector or scalar. Okay. So these two categories can be distinguished from one another by their distinct definitions that is scalars and vectors. So now we shall see what is the difference, basic difference between scalars and vectors. So first, what do you mean by scalars? So scalars are nothing but, scalars are quantities which have only magnitude. Okay, they don't have any direction. Example, if I take the very best is distance. So scalars have only magnitude they say this right then what is the difference between scalars and vectors vectors have both magnitude and direction okay so vectors the very best example is they have both magnitude as well as direction so the very best example is displacement Right? Then what is the difference between magnitude and direction? Magnitude is no, nothing but it is a number. Suppose if I say distance, we measure in meters or centimeters, right? Suppose I want to move from a point A to a point B. So AB is nothing but here both are same. AB is a distance, suppose if it is 10 meters. So 10, is a, 10 meters is a distance as well as the displacement. Right? Suppose I move like this from A to B. Right? So this is called distance. And then what is the displacement? Displacement is the shortest distance which has a direction. See here distance doesn't have any direction. Right? So displacement has direction and it is the shortest distance covered. Hope you have got the difference. Okay? Then where are the what are the other scalars? Mass, energy, distance, time, speed, temperature, work, power, length, area, volume, density, pressure and entropy. These are some of the examples of scalars which have only magnitude and that doesn't have direction. They can go in any direction. They have 360 degrees to travel. Okay. Then what are the vectors? They have both magnitude as well as direction. What are these? displacement for distance you have displacement for speed velocity here okay here acceleration force momentum lift drag weight all these are vectors so you need to remember which are scalars and which are vectors hope you are clear with this right so clear about the definition moving on to some of the base units. So why I am mentioning in this topic is these units are asked in various SSC CGL or CHSL or MTS or Railway Recruitment Board examinations. So I will tell you which are these important ones. Okay, please go through them. Okay, you need to remember their units. Okay, so first we shall see the SI unit system that is the International Metric System SI base units. So first length. Its symbol is L, its unit is meter and unit symbol is M. So mass, it has a symbol M, it has kilograms in SI units, in CGS units it is grams and here kg for kilograms. Time T, second S, electric current I, its unit is ampere and the, deno uh, de and the unit symbol is A. Thermodynamic temperature T, Kelvin K. Amount of substance N, here it is mole and the symbol used is MOL, mole. Luminous industry IV is the actual quantity symbol, right? And the normal symbol or unit is candela. 
okay and we use the short form cd okay you have to remember all these si base units i will give you some more base units and i'll tell you which are those important we need to go through them for our examination so area you know square meter square volume meter cube speed is distance traveled per second right so meter per second right and acceleration is velocity by time so speed or velocity by time that is meter per second per second so meter per second square wave number is reciprocal of meter okay and density is mass per volume right so it is kg per meter cube suppose what is the density of water it is 1000 kg per meter cube right and what is surface density it is nothing but if i divide uh, the density by mass it will give you kg per meter square okay and specific volume is inverse of density that is one my density meter cube per kg and current density is ampere per meter square okay and the magnetic field strength is ampere per meter and the amount concentration or concentration is mole per meter cube and mass concentration is same like density right density or mass concentration both are same i'll tell you which are important later so then luminance it is re regarding light we shall see in the next topics coming topics what is light what is luminous so it has a unit called candela per meter square and refractive index we generally use in uh, refractive uh, refraction of waves okay it is it doesn't have any unit so no unit for refractive index and no unit for relative permeability okay this also has no unit so which are important so most of you know about area volume uh, speed acceleration so which are important here we have the important ones are density specific volume magnetic field strength and amount of concentration is mole okay so these are important for us you need to remember in somehow how do you remember it is up to you because these are generally asked as units in the examinations of either ssc or rrb examinations okay moving on to some more units with special names normally we have a plane angle called this two dimensional angle this is 2d plane angle means 2d this solid angle means 3d right so it has a unit plane angle radian and a solid angle as radian that is sr and frequency hertz that is number of oscillations per second so one hertz generally is number of oscillations or vibrations we shall study these in waves topic okay so force you know it newton pressure is force per area right so force by area is newton per meter square right so one newton per meter square is equals to one pascal remember this one newton per meter square is pascal this is very important so frequency is important plane angle is important solid angle is important energy work heat all these have joules okay one joule is equals to one newton meter newton into meter force into distance work done is forced as a force applied and how much is the distance moved it is one newton meter that is one joule so power power is nothing but work done by time that is joule per second right this is equal to one watt okay clear with this an electric charge amount of electricity is coulombs potential difference is volts okay watt per ampere capacitance is farad electric resistance are Ohm. so all are important so hum, somehow remember all these moving on to some more units with uh, si derived units with special name conductance we have siemens okay ampere per voltage magnetic flux weber volt second right magnetic flux density tesla weber per meter square okay so density means again flux by area that is weber per meter square right inductance is henry this question was asked in last year cgl examination magnetic flux and uh, inductance celsius temperature you know degree centigrade luminous flux is lumen that is 
Candela steridian and illuminance is lux. Lumen per meter square. If I divide the luminous flux by area, per area, that is lumen per meter square. And uh, radioactivity we have Becquerel. Okay, Henry Becquerel who has discovered the radioactivity. And catalytic activity we have cattel and the unit is cattle. So most important ones are conductance, flux, inductance and radioactivity. These are most important for us for our examination. Hope you are clear with this. Okay. We shall move on to the next some more units. Next dynamic viscosity. Viscosity is nothing but it is related to liquids so we have dynamic viscosity as pascal second that is one pascal second moment of force is newton meter right that is one joule we have already seen surface tension newton per meter surface tension is nothing but again pressure okay next angular velocity radian per second angular acceleration radian per second square heat flux density watt per meter square Heat capacity is joule per Kelvin. What do you mean by heat capacity? Heat capacity is nothing but it is a heat required to raise the temperature of a body by 1 centigrade. That is called heat capacity. And specific capacity when I divide it with mass it will give you like specific volume. Right. If I divide the density by mass I will get a kg per meter square. Same thing. If I divide the heat capacity with mass I will get joule kg per Kelvin. So what are important for us? Dynamic viscosity, surface tension and uh, angular acceleration, heat capacity, specific heat capacity. These are very important for our examinations. Okay. So shall we move on to the next slide? Yes. SI derived units with hybrid names. Specific energy, joule per kilogram, thermal conductivity. This is very important. Thermal conductivity, watt per meter Kelvin. Energy density, joule per meter cube, electric field strength, volt per meter, electric charge density, charge means we have coulombs, right? Coulomb per meter cube, Char surface charge density, surface area means we have uh, meter square, right? So surface coulomb per meter square, electric flux density, surface against uh, coulomb per uh, meter square, same as surface charge density, permittivity, farad per meter and permeability is Henry per meter. Okay, what is importance? Permittivity, perm permeability, electric field strength, and specific energy and uh, energy density. These are very important for our examinations. Okay, moving on to some more units. Sir, why sir, these many units we are giving? The thing is, we don't know when uh, we can expect a question from any unit. So that's why I want to give you all the units so that you will prepare well and not miss any question. Okay, what is the unit of pressure generally force per unit area, right? So one bar. So one bar is nothing but actually force per unit area, right? So force is nothing but Newton meter square, right? This is one Pascal. So one bar is 10 power 5 Pascal. Remember this 10 power 5 Pascal or 100 kilo Pascal or 0.1 mega Pascal. Then pressure is also measured in terms of mercury uh, mm of Hg, right? 1 mm of Hg is equal to 133.322 Pascal length in angstroms, right? Sometimes we measure in nanometers also. So 1 angstrom is 0 0.1 nanometer or 10 power minus 10 meters. Okay, distance in nautical miles for our uh, ships. We use nautical mile. This question was asked in one year back. How much is one nautical mile? They have asked one nautical mile is equals to 1.85 kilometers, right? Area in bands, one, um, actually it is in meter square and uh, one barn is 10 power minus 28 meter square, right? Speed of ships we have uh, in knots, right? So one knot is equals to 1.52 by 3600 meter per second, right? And energy in ergs, one erg is 10 power minus 7 joules. So, hope you are clear with these units. So, this is for pressure, right? 
so all are important in this pressure pressure length distance area speed and energy okay so moving on to some more units force generally we have force in newtons so we can also express it in non si that is cgs system in dynes one dyne is equals to 10 power minus 5 newtons we have already seen dynamic viscosity okay it is also expressed in poise one poise is 0.1 actually it has a unit called pascal second so one poise is equals to 0.1 pascal second okay kinematic viscosity is expressed in stokes one stoke is equals to 10 power minus 4 meter square per second luminance still illuminance in fourth acceleration in gal and magnetic flux maxwell one maxwell is equals to 10 power minus 8 weber this is very important okay these two are important okay magnetic flux density gauss and magnetic field okay so clear with this these are also important okay so we need to study these for our examinations we have to remember somehow so hope you have learned about the physical quantities scalars and vectors and the important units so these are some of the important ones for our ssc CS, cgl or chsl or mts or rrb examinations so we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much